Hi, Barbara Freeberg here, former portfolio manager and university investments instructor, here to talk to you about the free investment management, retirement planning, network tracking tools available at Personal Capital. Did I say for free? They are, and they're really comprehensive. But before we dig in with the details, how to set up an account, the pros, the cons, how to use it, everything you need to know, I've got some truths to tell you. If you sign up to use these tools and your net worth is greater than $100,000, our company will get compensated if you use our link. And this is to help us to pay for our costs. I'm what you call an affiliate. Our company is an affiliate for personal capital. But that will not stop me from telling you the absolute truth about the platform. And it is incumbent upon me to be 100% honest with you about why I'm doing this, how I'm getting paid. And I'm doing this review so that you can gain access to a really useful tool set. And you're gonna get the negatives as well as the positives. So let's dig in. I have actually created a dummy account and we're gonna get into how it works, what you can do and all of that with my own dummy account. I put in some fake information. I linked a, a real account of mine and you will learn everything you need to know about personal capital. But let's start off with how do you actually get this thing set up? How long does it take? Is it going to be worth it for you? And I will say, I use personal capital, but I also use Quicken because Quicken does offer some features that personal capital doesn't offer. It's so easy to get this platform set up. All you do, you first tell, answer a few questions about yourself. Now, as I said, this is a made up data. This isn't true. You tell them your name, your age, when you want to retire, and how much you have in cash investments and retirement accounts. So I plugged in this information, and then the next screen takes me to my goals. And I love that you have really a lot of goals that you can check. So you can go, I'm a first time investor. I want to, you know, how do I manage my investments? Do it myself, robo advisor, work with an advisor. What are my goals? What's my goal for using this tool, the free tools? Why did I sign up? Why did I show up? I check, I want to optimize my investment strategy. I could have indicated I want my fees slashed. I want more confidence about retirement, all different sorts of things. You can also plug in information about questions or concerns because a caveat, the way you pay personal capital, the cost you pay to use this tool is that you commit to taking a phone call with one of the personal capital financial advisors. Look, you know, I know you don't get anything for free. This is a marketing tool for personal capital. It's a very good marketing tool in exchange for the free tools. You will agree to have a quick conversation with a personal capital advisor. You're not obligated to sign up for their investment management, which does cost a fee of your assets under management, but you are asked to take this phone call so that they can tell you a little bit more about their platform and a little bit more about the services that they offer. Personally, I think it's a fair exchange. I don't mind talking to a financial advisor. And actually, I've gone through and had an in-depth conversation with a financial advisor at Personal Capital. They are all certified financial planners, and I found it really helpful, even though I manage my own and my family's assets and at present don't use a financial advisor. So here is where you sign up for your appointment. It's a quick call. Then you are taken to a screen where you link your accounts. It is so freaking easy. This section is actually better than what is offered at Quicken. So I chose an account, a Roth retirement account of my own at TD Ameritrade. I linked it up, input my password. It's very secure, um, bank level security. And then they uh, linked that account with the personal capital platform. And from there, you can go on to link as many accounts as you want. What I think is really cool is you can link not only investment accounts, but you can also link savings account, credit card accounts, debt accounts, input your housing information, and they'll even give you an approximation of the value of your house according to one of the popular housing um, monitoring websites. So what this enables the platform to do is to give you an entire net worth picture. So then you're taken to the dashboard. And like I said, we're just using one of one of our personal accounts. And we're going to switch over to that dashboard. And here we are. This is the home page. This is our network net worth from the account that we put in. Cash flow, since I just set this up this morning, none of this comes through, but you can see your income, your expenses for the month. Because of your linking of accounts, they can track your budget. So how much did you spend? How much money did you have coming in? And this is all free. It is really, really cool. You'll get a balance of your portfolio. To find out more, you also get, there's a retirement savings calculator, and we're going to take a look at that as well. Then if you link your account, you can see how much you have for emergencies. You can manage your debt. Clearly, a lot of really useful tools. So from here on in, these are all the things you can do if you link your accounts for free. You can look at your cash flow, your budgeting, cash flow. Obviously, I just set this up, so there is no cash flow. But when you start using the tool and they start tracking your income and expenses, you can see these budgeting, this budgeting data. 
So how much did you spend? How much did you save? And what is the relationship from your between your income and your expenses? So let's go to the investing tab because that's a place where I did link an investment account. Now, clearly it is not a completely diversified account because there are only a couple of different holdings within the account that I linked. I happen to have a short-term bond fund in this account. I have a real estate exchange traded fund, and I have what is common in many of your portfolios, which is an S&P 500 exchange traded fund. Here you'll see there's a picture of the value of the account, price changes, et cetera, et cetera. Here's your graph. And another thing that I really like about this platform is you can compare my index. So my U index reflects my personal portfolio that I've uploaded and how it has performed. So they have a 90 days, it's gone down 5% um, because the markets have gone down recently. But you'll see that my portfolio has actually done better than the S&P 500 over that same period, which has dropped nearly 8%. It's done better than a U.S. stock portfolio, which has dropped 9%, et cetera, et cetera. So I like the comparisons. I like the graphs. But let me help you understand why did my portfolio do better? Because, and this is one of the really important basics about financial investment planning is this account has a bond fund in it. And so $21,000 of the $187,000 in this account is invested in bonds, which do not directly correlate with the returns of the stock market. And that is why, especially in a falling investment market, you want to have some fixed assets, cash or bonds within your portfolio. Also, it has a real estate uh, ETF, exchange, exchange traded fund, which does not travel in the same, is not directly correlated with the stock market. For example, today, the real estate fund dropped in percent, 0.72%, whereas the S&P 500 ETF declined nearly 1%. So a little bit less seeing the benefits of diversification right here on this chart. Very, very cool. So under the um, investing vertical, you can also see your asset allocation. Okay, this is not a, a perfectly diversified portfolio because like I said, it's only one account. But if and when you link all of your accounts, you will get a really nice overview of your entire investment asset allocation. So they uh, use squares instead of what you'll normally see as a circle, a pie chart. It's the same idea. So you'll notice this particular account is. 33% in U.S. stocks, and it'll break it down into different types of stocks. The real estate is a 26%. They call that alternatives. Unclassified, I don't know what that is, what, how they are defining that, but I can click on that and find out what's unclassified. Okay, that is actually the cash within the account. So it looks like we've got $54,000 in cash. So that came up as unclassified. We know that is cash now because we checked it out. And then we've got 10% as U.S. bonds and 2% nearly in international bonds. Now we can see here, there's a little bit of a mismatch because mismatch between the platform and reality because there's a cash allocation here and the platform did not pick up that this cash account, which is an insured deposit account, should actually be included in the cash asset allocation. So again, it's not perfect. And then you can see it also in a list form, a chart form here. And now let's see, we've got, oh, we want to look at the U.S. sectors. This tells you how diversified this portfolio is across the U.S. sectors. And personal capital, if you do choose to have them manage your account, then they have an asset allocation that they suggest for you, which is an equal sector weight. So they equal out a lot of these sectors in their managed portfolios. So let's go on to the planning tab. And this is where you get some really cool tools. The retirement planner is insane. It is so comprehensive. So we'll just go through some, you know, the, the setup. Um, I'm saying that I'm single, head of household. I live in, let's just say I live in Arizona. And so then we'll go on. So I said in my initial questionnaire that I had $250,000. Let's put in an amount that I save each year. Let's say I save 15,000 a year. How much do I earn each year? Let's ballpark it, say I earn 100. And how much do I think I'm going to re spend in retirement per month? I think I'll spend probably, I don't know, 8,000, just ballpark. So let's see what happens next. Are there children I want to put through college? I'm going to say no, although the retirement planner will take that into consideration, which is pretty cool. You can hear my cat in the background. She's locked in now. So, you know, I wish she'd come on so I could show you, but maybe next time. So you'll see. Then you come up with a scenario. Now, according to this uh, assessment, the inputs that I made, and every every output is dependent upon the inputs that you put in. So I am 67% on track for retirement. I have a 67% chance that my existing portfolio will support my goals. Well, that's good to know now because it gives me a chance to change my assumptions. And here we go. The income events are the savings, 
I said I had $250,000 a day. And again, this is a hypothetical situation. This is not my real situation, but I'm putting it out here as an example for you. I said I would save $15,000 a year. We're assuming I have $34,000 of social security payments when I turn 67. And my retirement spending, I assume, was going to be $96,000 per year. Okay, they have little disclaimers about how it was calculated, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And let's say um, I'm viewing this by market conditions. I can also view it by asset locations. Here are the best case scenario. Worst case scenario is I have no money by age 92. And let's just do one scenario. Let's just say I decrease my monthly spending to 7,000 per month. And then let's see what happens. Great. So my probability of not outliving my money is better. So you can play around with this and you also uh, can do some more planning, change your inputs, and you can see at this stage how the changes you make can influence your potential um, wealth at retirement. Great tool, free again, just for the cost of speaking with a financial planner. Now let's go to the savings planner. Again, yearly savings needed for 70% chance of success. Um, we're going to, though, move on to the retirement fee analyzer because I love this. Fees, as you know, every fund that you invest in charges a fee. And so the higher fees that you are paying, the less money is going into your investment accounts. I love how this uh, personal capital tool analyzes your fees and also makes you aware of what you're spending. Then you can consider if you might want to switch your own ETFs into lower fee alternatives, or if you want to hire them to manage your portfolio or a portion of your portfolio, and they will help you do that as well. Okay, so the expense ratio on these are quite low. IBDO, which is the bond fund, is only 0.10% or 10 basis points. Basis point is 1 one hundredth of a percent. SPY, the S&P 500, only has nine basis points, and the real estate ETF has 12 basis points. So I'm really a little perplexed about this, and this is another flaw that I've noticed in this platform before. Looks like they have not taken an average of my annual fees, or maybe they're just adding them up over two years. Not quite sure how this works out, but in general, I can see here my fees are really low, okay? So let's go on to the final feature that we're going to look at today, which I love, the investment checkup. Check now, <laughs> because I only listed one account, and what they have said is due to a high level of unclassified assets, they can't analyze my portfolio with a reasonable accuracy. So let's see what we can do right now. They want me to call because I haven't, I haven't put in enough assets. If I linked more accounts, we could go through that investment checkup. So just so you know, they do offer that on the platform without going through an additional call if you link more of your accounts. And that gives them a broader picture of what your total financial worth is like. So let's wrap it up right here and say that's an overview of the personal capital free tools. It updates automatically. You can go on, check out your savings, your spending, your retirement, your investing, your net worth at any time. It is free. And if you think this might be useful for you, you can sign up on one of the links below. As I said, if you use one of our affiliate links and your net worth is over $100,000, our company will receive a small commission. You don't have to use our links. Thank you so much. And if you like this video and you want me to do more, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.